Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the risen Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. On today's solemnity, the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we honor Mary, Mother of Christ, and Mother of the Church, who was born without the stains of sin. Trusting in her intercession, let us lay our sins before the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of Mary, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again to redeem your people, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. And today, together let us save the glory. <laughs> Sorry. Glory to God in the highest. In the highest. And on, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, take away, away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your son. Grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden, forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, 
why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, and you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise and glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intentions of his will, so that he might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. Mm. And reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. You will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception as we honor Mary, the Mother of God, and our Mother as well, who was born without sin and who surrendered to the will of God in order to bring the sinless one, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, into the world for our salvation and redemption. Pope Clement XI, in his papal bull, Comisi Novus, established this solemnity for the entire church in 1708. In today's reading from Genesis, the human condition is born as both Adam and the woman fall to the tricks of the serpent, a human condition that, as we know, has plagued humanity for thousands of years. But the Lord would not put up with the acts of the serpent. The Lord says to him, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt you shall eat. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. Sin is a major and unfortunate reality in our world, so we need to rely on the power and the wisdom of God to thwart off the cunningness of the devil in our lives. And we need the assistance of Mary, the mother of God and our mother. She is the Immaculate Conception. She is the woman who crushed the serpent's head, who is here to help us be pure and chaste, and who now lives in radiant splendor in heaven. In the Gospel of Luke, the angel Gabriel appears to Mary in the town of Nazareth. Rejoice, O highly favored daughter, blessed are you among women. But Mary was deeply troubled by these words, deeply troubled. What does Gabriel say to Mary? The words that we hear many times in Scripture and that we need to go into the depths of our hearts. Be not afraid. Again, words that we need to hear and apply in our hearts in this year 2022. So Gabriel says to Mary, you have found favor with God. You shall conceive and bear a son and give him the name Jesus. Great will be his dignity and he will be called son of the most high. But in her questioning and deep concerns, the fact that she did not know man, Mary continued to ponder these words. And Gabriel then says to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. The Holy Offspring will be called Son of God. Gabriel points out that to Mary that her cousin Elizabeth, thought sterile and in her old age, is now a child because nothing is impossible with God. We need to remember these words as well. Nothing 
is impossible with God because the Lord is Emmanuel. God is with us. His power, his glory, and his love and mercy are with us always until the end of the age. And what does Mary say to Gabriel? I am the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you say. Mary totally surrendered to the will of God despite being deeply troubled by the words of Gabriel. Mary, along with her son and our Lord, are great examples to total surrender to the God Most High because we are never truly happy in our lives until we do the will of God. Jesus humbles himself to share in our humanity according to the Father's will, and Mary surrenders to the will of the Father by being conceived through the power of the Holy Spirit in bringing our Savior into the world. And for her total surrender to the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Our Lady is now honored as the Queen of Heaven and Earth in Heaven, the Immaculate Conception, born to do and to surrender to the impossible, to bring the Christ into the world to save us from ourselves. On this feast, the Immaculate Conception, we honor Mary, the Mother of God, and our Mother as well. She loves us with a mother's heart. She, like her son, wants all of us to, all of us to be in paradise together. We ask for her protection from the snares of the devil. We pray for her guidance and her counsel to be with us in those times when we are deeply troubled in our lives, as she was in Gabriel's words to her, to trust in the Lord with all of our hearts, with every ounce of our being, because nothing is impossible with God. His love and mercy are with us for all time. Mary, the Immaculate Conception, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we give voice to our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church. May we attune our senses to God's calling within us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
We pray for all people called to national and local leadership. May they know the presence of God in their vocation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, give our prayer. We pray for our country and all who call it home. May this season of Advent keep our eyes open to the needs of our neighbors. We pray to the Lord. Lord, give our prayer. We pray for all who are served by ministries supported by the annual Catholic Appeal. May they continue to serve in gladness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, give our prayer. We pray for family members who are at odds with each other. May they be healed and know the spirit of understanding. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord give our prayer. We pray for our local communities. May they foster a culture of consent. We pray to the Lord. Lord, give our prayer. We pray for all who have died. May they rest in the peace of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, give our prayer. We pray for the people of our parish for whom our Mass is offered. May the intentions of our community be heard by the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, give our prayer. And let us pray. God of all wisdom, you created Mary free from sin and gave her the strength and courage to say yes to birthing your son into the world. Listen to our prayers and grace us with the faithfulness to follow your callings in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grace to accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through your intercession we may be delivered from all our faults. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Austin Anthony, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you've chosen through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us 
the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, is a mighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you've given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you're pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not winning our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom we continue to make all these good things, O Lord. We sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us off each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. Where can I say your praise?
let us pray. May the sacrament we received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserve Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have a few announcements here. Please join us on Sunday, December 11th for the Marian prayer service at 5.30 p.m. Gifts for the giving tree are due this Sunday. Thank you to everyone who generously picked up tags or made monetary donations. Please join us for evening prayer on Sunday, December 8th at 5.30 p.m. The Lord be with you. And with Almighty God bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.